Volkswagen is one of the biggest German automakers in history. They are famous for Herbie, the Combi, the Volkswagen Rabbit, winning several championships in the WRC with Sebastian Ogier and the Polo R. And this emissions scandal. But we are not here for any of those reasons. Today I want to show you a fully electric beast, tested in hard conditions and breaker of several records. Just as Sebastian made the Polo R his car, it seems that Roman Dumas was born to ride this beast. As I mentioned in the previous video, this car made its debut in the Pikes Peak Hill Climb in 2018, aiming to be the fastest electric car ever to climb the mountain. The results were even more impressive than anyone could anticipate. It. This is the fastest car ever to climb the mountain. We are talking about the incredible Volkswagen ID.R. What are the records that this car broke? Is this a license livery? It is actually a good Hot Wheels design? Is there any other brand of automakers that is making this car in 164 scale? If you would like to have an answer for all of these questions, then stay, because on top I have a surprise for you. Today in your Collectibles, we have a Hot Wheels Steam Transport unboxing. In the graphics, as any other Team Transport blisters, you can see the carrier and the car. But what I want to highlight on this one is the background. This is the Nürburgring track. I will explain a bit more about the remark later. This is the set number 35 and together with the IDR we have the Aero Lift. In the back we have the rest of the Mix 4 released in 2021. This was the last mix of that year. the sixth release of the Aerolift from Hotwheels. It has the black and blue livery that matches the car and the only graphic it shows is the R from the Volkswagen racing program. Like the carry-on that we unboxed last week, the cabin and chassis are die-cast metal and the bed is plastic. The peculiarity about this career is that you can move the RAM to load your race car. And this is the reason why you are here today the all-powerful, almighty Volkswagen ID.R. This version has the fully licensed black and blue livery used by the Volkswagen team when they broke the record of the fastest electric vehicle to run around the Nürburgring. And that's why the famous track is part of the graphics in the blister car. Among the details of the livery, you'll see sponsors like Bridgestone, ANSYS and Castrol. It has beautiful decals in the front to represent the headlights, and something inconsistent is the Volkswagen logo. The casting is shown in the hood, however, in the real car it is in the middle of the LED lights. The vehicle is mostly die-cast metal, except for the roof and the back wing, those are plastic. Talking about the wing, it is a bit bigger than in the real car. You can see how it comes a bit higher from the roof in the casting, versus in real life, where it is below the height of the roof for aerodynamic purposes. The run of the IDR in Nürburgring was the second record broken. In the same year, 2019, they also broke another record in the Goodwood Festival of Speed and they set a new record in the Tiamen Mountain in China. The first one, of course, was the one that they did in the Pikes Peak Hill Climb. And I know, I talk about the Pikes Peak Hill Climb and I just show you the car that is the version that they run in the second record, which is a bit annoying, I understand you, but I plan to remedy that. Because I have the first release from Hot Wheels and this is actually the livery that they use in the Pikes Peak Hill Climb. Let's open this baby. The first edition of the IDR was released as part of the Thrill Climber set released in 2020 in the Carl Culture Premium line. It has the same mistake as the other version. The location of the logo is in the wrong place. On top, I kind of missed some sort of decals for the LED lights. I mean, the car is light grey and the lights are white, but still, this is a premium model and I believe it should have the lights. Now, the size of the back wing here is actually more accurate. I assume that due to the drag requirement in the track, the wing had to be adjusted for the Nürburgring. 
but in the Pikes Peak hill climb, the wing was higher. Same car, two liveries, two different speed breakers in super important locations for the car culture of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the Volkswagen IDR. In general, I do believe that this casting should be in your collection. Either the original Pikes Peaks version or the second edition, the one, the team transport that we just opened with the Nurburgring livery. This little beast has a lot of records under its belt to be ignored. The casting has its flaws. That's true, I pointed them out. Just as a little bit of a defense, the front of the IDR is really slim and it has this little slot, a slot air intake and could be difficult to put the BW logo there. And also, the back wing, well, it was more accurate in the first edition, we cannot really expect that Hot Wheels will adjust the back wing in every single release, right? As information, I was trying to look if other brands were making this model in 164 scale and I could find nothing, just in 143. So if you want it in 164, then Hot Wheels it is. But I could be wrong, so if you know of any other brand that is making this vehicle in 164 scale, then please put it down in the comments below for me and for anybody else that could be interested. By the way, don't you know that when the Volkswagen IDR made the new record in the Tiamen hill climb in China, they have third livery in red? Hot Wheels? Any comments? For today, we came to the end of the video. Please smash the like button if you enjoy it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and share it with a friend that you think that might enjoy it as well. For the next week, I already have an idea of what I want to show you, but as usual, if you have any suggestions or anything specific that you would like to see, please also leave it there in the comments down below for me. My name is JR, thanks for being here, see you next time. Adios.